So, hey guys, I'm going to talk about the first course of algorithm specialization on Coursera provided by Stanford University. So here's the briefly the content of the uh, algorithm specialization in the first quarter uh, in the first course. So it includes hide and count algorithm like merge sort and uh, big O notation like and graphs and something like that. Uh, yeah, and if I go through everything about it, I'm gonna take 10 hours to finish it. So yeah, and these are the four courses of the algorithm specialization, which start at start in some basic algorithms and go through and some hash function, I think, down the row. Yeah, and gradient algorithm and short is pass. So for divide and conquer, what is it? Divide and conquer is when you have a of question set and you want to solve it, but you can't solve it directly. What you can do is to divide that into pieces and solve it one by one and combine them together. And one implementation is first sort. So, sort. Oh, because maybe you're in the presentation mode. Uh, I can't write things. Okay, yeah. so okay. Maybe you just go out there and then you can write. Enable editing. Uh, now you can do it. Okay, so for merge sort, it basically works like this. If you have an array, now you want to sort it, right? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, yeah. no. So if you have an array, you want to sort it, you basically can can divide it into pieces. And for merge sort, you first divide it into two pieces, which a with problem sizes of half of them. So when you have an array of eight elements, you divide them into two. Too fancy. <laughs> two pieces. And then divide them into four pieces. So you do it with two recursive calls and do it recursively until there are one pieces and then you sort them and merge them. And merge them again and merge the final result. So this is the high level description of merge sort. And okay, I'm gonna No, you can just have to erase. Yeah. You still near that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You need to oh, yeah. erase, yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's not a new don't be lazy now. Yeah, I think there should be, but we don't know because we're having fun with the eraser all the time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's an implementation of merging. So normally when you calculate two integers, you want to time them together by doing a basic uh, integer notation. Now, when it's extremely big numbers, like when you have 100 digits in a number and you want to time two numbers with 100 digits, 
which give you two input size of 100 elements. In normal cases, you, when you do it in a, a mature way, you will have to time it like one by one, for example, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Which give you, give you approximately 10,000 time notification execution. Now, with Karotsuba notification, you can do it in a recursive way. It basically works like this. So, for example, if we have two numbers which, uh, with four digits for each, what Karotsuba do is you group this first group and group this. So they are, we call it A, D, and D. First step, we calculate A times C. Second, B times D. Third, A plus B times C plus D. I'll just watch you. Uh, third one. Minus first one and minus second. Oh. And then you this with the digits of B and D, which is two. And two. Times this with half of it, and you combine together. So one plus two plus one hundred four is the result. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and yeah, and this basically takes less time than normal integer multiplication because you can do it in a recursive way. So, and this is using the divide, divide and conquer method because they basically divide them into small pieces and combine them together. Are you following me? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Any questions? Any questions? <laughs> About like if the difference is like eight, eight is uh, like you divide into half. Yeah, and you still you, have four digits. Yeah, and so then, then you divide, divide them then into half again. again. Yeah. Wait, you said what about odd number? Like five. Odd yeah. number. Five. Yeah. For well, odd number, you can do it in a. You click something that's right. Just press the. Uh, if you had an odd number, you can do it like a normal merge sort way. So you just put one of them in the front, <coughs> the back, depends. You depend on what you like. Normally, it's in the front. You have a question? Can you write out what the algorithm looks like for the merge? No code? Yeah. Have to open my code. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, it looks like something like a uh, normal <laughs> first sort. Yeah. So you have a function and you have two recursive calls inside. So it really does look like a merge sort. Yeah, so if you want to, you can look it look up the merge sort and you can implement it in a merge sort way. So basically you just go through a different steps from merge sort, but the cost is the same. 
it's a good stuff that they adapted to the quad. So you see from order n squared to n log n. Yeah. And you see the Picard writing from. Yeah. And there's actually a lower bound of a divided counter algorithm for comparing this algorithm, but I'm not going to talk about it. Why not? <laughs> because I haven't talked about big notation okay, yet. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, so big notation is a really fluffy thing. What it does is it assume you have a extremely huge input size. So now when you want to uh, describe how fast the computer computing time is you don't really care about the constants or uh, whatever you don't change with the size because those things are not gonna make huge difference to the algorithm. So basically what you do is to, uh, I do it in my master math real quick? Okay. <laughs> the magic way. Magic, magic way? <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, so basically, it's just a way to present how your algorithm from and how fast is it. And for a wrong, for the wrong time of an algorithm, it looks like. I, I, I don't have to talk about how fast. Talk about how scalable. Yeah, how big yeah. scale. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter the speed. Yeah, I mean, it influences. Yes, the so fast is relative. Right? No, right? Because the, even though you have n, the n size is different, so you have different speed. Mm -hmm. Just uh, talk about how speed it is still up or down. Uh, like like I give you a two different algorithm that the four have all all n runtime. Which one is faster? Yeah, you cannot. Because you can, but you can tell it will. Yeah. No, no. Scaling. You have you have n square. Which one is faster? You yeah. cannot. Yeah, it's, it's kind of yeah. How how do I say the one? This. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Does it go? Um, so good. Yeah. So you need it. it. Should be flatter. Yeah. And you do access like this, right? There's a the constant. There's a the website. What? <laughs> Don't forget that constant line. No, that's cheating. Oh, that's cheating. Okay. Okay. It's okay. It's literally called a cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. What do you do? Yeah. Yeah. So, we're, we're almost all over. Okay. See, it, it, it's not fast because, like, you uh, you wrote them at the same yeah, duration. Yeah, <laughs> It's just the scaling because if you're talking about rounding time, if you have a bigger input here and a smaller input here, yeah, that's right. What, what do you mean by scaling? So, okay, so it means like slope. Are you talking about slope? Or the change of the slope. So, when the, the rate input of size. Big, becomes become bigger, bigger yeah. becomes bigger. How slower will it be? How can the operation increase the power? This, uh, the scaling of the end. Yeah. So, so this is per input size, right? Yeah. 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 But if the input size is the same, we can say. I think we can say that it doesn't describe yeah. the relationship, the speed and your input size. Yeah. Yeah. 
but but the if it, we emphasize this the same we can say which one is faster. We all also use smaller spaces. Sam, can you mute yourself for now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stress is so tricky. Okay. Can you do it in five minutes? No, I can't. Oh, yeah, but we can just continue. So Okay, so basically, <laughs> when okay. you want to calculate the dot of O, I think we skipped this before. So if we want to. Oh, uh, that's the matrix. Yeah, and the matrix. Uh, uh, I'm not going to write that all. Yeah, it's going to take a big space. Yeah. I know the elements for each. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you want to calculate the dot of two matrix, uh, normal way you can just calculate, calculate it like in, like in multiplication. Like, yeah, multiply it in normal way. But yes. Yeah. But this algorithm, uh, it based on a divide and conquer way, which normally you will assume that uh, we cut them into these ABCD and GH. and divide them into smaller pieces and calculate the dot of them. Calculate them again, which technically take about the same time as normal way. So what stress and algorithm do is they uh, he I don't know. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but they uh, basically uh, decrease the multiplication multiplication times you have to do in each of your steps. So it takes less time than a traditional way. So this is the, so you do divide and conquer at the same time because we can create a new slide and just uh, calculate them uh, parallelly. So you can get a better the time. Like if you yeah. divide it for, for AP, so we, we can calculate each two higher yeah, but parallelly. So I mean if you talk about parallel, then that's another question. I mean yeah for practical, practical we can do yeah, that. that's different. But, time the same. Yeah, but stress is even faster because it also used divide and conquer and it's it's faster than normal divide and conquer. Yeah. Oh. And I think that's it for today. Us. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. Thank you. I think maybe next time you can put more stuff. Yeah, because I just wanted to write right on it. Yeah. So Tim, comment. Comment. Oh, you have a comment? Yeah, I think uh, my student understood all of them. Looks like my student is equal to. Stand for the student or a parent. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now you know I, I don't have time <laughs> because I'm <laughs> these kind of stuff. And actually, I just talk about some of them because, you know, it takes time. Yeah. I know, we don't have time, then we have to finish on time, okay? Start on time and finish on time. <laughs> yeah.